Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Shufa Palace the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zayed bin Rashid Zayani. His Royal Highness discussed with them several issues concerning the current economic challenges and means of dealing with them. The Prime Minister affirmed that the Kingdom has adopted leading measures in dealing with the coronavirus pandemic and that it successfully maintained the health and safety of the community because of the extensive efforts of its professional medical caters. He added that the achievements of the kingdom reflect its ability to overcome challenges and crisis and that all national caters should be supported to protect and maintain the achievements of Bahrain. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of maintaining this achievement that was made upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and was the result of the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the cooperation of all citizens and residents. He noted the importance of committing it to the precautionary measures and regulations set by official bodies, particularly in light of the gradual resumption of life around the world. During the meeting, His Royal Highness was briefed by the Minister of Oil about the projects and plans to develop the oil and gas sector. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain will implement various plans to develop the oil and gas sector as well as the industries related to those two fields in light of their importance and effect on sustainable development. He affirmed that the Kingdom continues to develop the oil and gas sector in parallel with diversifying sources of income through flexible programs and strategies of economic development that can adapt to various circumstances. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the role of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in intensifying inspection campaigns on the local market and controlling the prices of food and basic commodities as well as ensuring the safety of available food products in the market in operation cooperation with the Chamber of Commerce and Tourism to both revitalize and stabilize commerce. His Royal Highness emphasized that despite the coronavirus pandemic, the government has ensured the availability of supplies and not fluctuate their prices. He noted that Bahrain was one of the leading countries in supporting the private sector and business owners to future developments in the kingdom. He also stressed the necessity of verifying information on the repercussions of the corona pandemic at the international level and studying and verifying its sources to benefit from it as much as possible when developing various current and future plans. For their part, the two ministers expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support for economic sectors. They also lauded to his directives that aim for to further develop the national economy. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee and president of the Istijaba Coordination Executive and Follow-up Committee at the SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's weekly meeting held remotely. The committee members, as well as the president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the president of Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa participated in the meeting. His Honor Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts exerted by all governmental bodies in implementing developmental projects that contribute to the development of the kingdom and the youth and sports sector. His Honor Sheikh Khalid directed to create a, com a committee to implement the proposal of the Bahrain Football Association president of hosting an open football league according to the vision of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs. National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to further develop Bahraini football and participate in the World Cup in the near future.
The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs has hailed the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the gradual resumption of group prayers and of the Friday prayers. The council, during an online meeting chaired by its chairman, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, called for full compliance with the precautionary measures regarding the Friday prayers to help stem the spread of the coronavirus. It expressed pride in His Majesty the King's praise of the council's activities and the service of Islam and in spreading its genuine values that include promoting moderation, shunning extremism and calling for upholding ethics and morals. The Council reiterated its commitment to serving the religion, country and the people and to achieving its set goals. The Labour and Social Development Ministry has announced the launch of the electronic employment procedures as of Monday, noting that job seekers are now provided with full opportunities to enter the system on its website easily, register their attendance and apply for vacant jobs that suit them. The e-system spares job seekers the effort of personally reporting to the ministry or employment and training centres as part of the precautionary measures it has taken to implement the decisions of the Executive Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to combat the novel coronavirus. The Labour and the Social Development Ministry called on job seekers who find difficulties in dealing with its e-services to call the hotline and get the necessary advice. They may also visit the employment and training centres across various governorates. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,596 with 847 additional recoveries and 19 deaths. The Ministry of Health also said 495 new cases were detected. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirmed the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces whenever possible.